morning, everybody. Hey. So many of you have been asking why I have not done salon visits in a while, and I was just trying to give her a break, give you all a break, and save it for, you know, something kind of new and fresh. Oh, and, yeah, totally different, which yeah, is always kind of yeah. nice. I, I, too, I mean, I get a little bored of myself sometimes. <laughs> So we saved some kind of a few changes today. Yes. So, so we're we moving see. forward. We are kind of thinking of like, we aren't doing color today. So next time is going to be that. So we are going to do some changes throughout our haircut. Um, just our little tweaks because we are kind of, we are looking for a little longer in areas. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little dry cutting first. And while well, maintaining length in certain areas and taking away in other ones. So. So start with we're going to get started. Okay, so maintaining some of the length, we're actually, we, we're kind of liking this blonde that's overlaying here on her dark through the bottom. So, um, but what kind of happens is we get a little, we always say kind of mushroomy. It's common like right through here. I think it's just where the hair goes up, the hair goes down. So we're going to go through there and I'm actually just going to tip some of the ends initially and then go through... And again, we're kind of keeping in mind that next time we do kind of want to change color. So I don't want to cut off all the blonde and nor do we want to um, get rid of all of the, uh, we want the length. So she wants something to be able to color. Yeah. <laughs> and it's good. It's a good thing. Cause you know, sometimes in the past we're like, okay, now what do we color? Because <laughs> <laughs> we shaved it all off last yeah. night. Yes. So through these little areas right here, I oftentimes, everybody kind of has their own little spot on top where they like it. You either want it to pop up or you don't. And that with uh, Shirley, we like it. So here we've kind of found our little area. I oftentimes tell people it's kind of this little head down little spot um, where your ears, you know, would be up here and then that's where we kind of maintain our a little bit of trim but again we're not on her today we sometimes will go pretty short in comparison and then i just kind of blend towards the front but we are going to keep this a little bit more um just longer so that we have more room to play typically does kind of part more this way, right? You you yeah. mostly do. Yeah. Not that you're, so I, you do also go to both sides. So, but what I kind of like to do is I like to take where this starts to get long. Again, this is due to the, it gives a little fullness to there. And I like to take my scissors and almost like over direct the hair and then just take out some like slide cut just a little bit. Some may prefer to do a little bit of a thin shear or whatever not like where her part line is like underneath because you can see that'll give nice texture through there but we again are trying to maintain that length so it'll give her something to work with but like still keep it sassy without getting it too too uh too textured and in addition i also like to go the same same with here like when she starts feeling a little full because if i go on top and start really point cutting in here you start cutting a lot so this is like doing a little bit more underneath like this is kind of just like piecing it because we are trying to maintain more length on this time switch it up for you all you know what i mean right for an option right you know? so see even since we've changed just done the little that we've done i mean she does have a little bit of product again we haven't i haven't styled it we're still just right cutting but um through here I think that I, I already see that it's a little lighter mm -hmm. and then she and I discuss right through this again kind of this area where it tends to go a little she does not have so much of a cul-de-sac like I like to call them <laughs> I have a bit of a deeper one uh -huh. <laughs> so I find like it's like right through here that the hair just gets kind of thick so mm -hmm. we've we've also been not going so short higher this is where I'm going to take my thinning shear and actually just take kind of some of that dark, really not the blonde. Mm -hmm. And just like right through here and just kind of take a few little snips. Cause this, this just kind of lightens that all up. Meaning it doesn't give it so much bulkiness. Mm -hmm. And I'm probably gonna do this a little all around the perimeter where her dark is because that's where you know, the suspense is to come, so. 
there's something else happening in the dark section of my hair. Today. They're like, what? What can happen? I know. To what me? could happen? I mean, what would Shirley and Kristen do? I mean, really, that right? we haven't seen already. I know. I know, right? You're like, oh, okay, predictability, but yeah. You know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think we have something pretty big. I think so too. I, I, I'm excited. I don't think you're ready. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. And again on this side, although we did the texture, it's still kind of in that little yeet, little line. Mm -hmm. Just that you can just feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I think this is so much fun though, how your blonde pieces right? with it that length like really, really can change. Really well. Yeah. Um, okay, so in the past, yeah. we had been cutting um, a little bit more of this as you can see she's not as she's PC but not mm -hmm. as PC we typically leave this more bulkier mm -hmm. but we had done some really funky cutting in mm -hmm. there so when doing this little front fringe here I do kind of like we're, we are just gonna tip these little ends here when someone tells me they don't want I don't really want anything off I mean I always still will just tip but but this is where I really do just tip them you know I mean of course I think that's where people, you know, get a little nervous because some people's, I call it like an air cut, not a haircut. <laughs> but people, I think, appreciate that because they, then they trust that, like, it is just going to be a minimal. And then I'm going to kind of cut some little chunks in there. As you can see, this was all like, mm -hmm. it's just trimming. Right. I didn't really trim any perimeter major length. So as you can see that texture, again, just kind of like working and doing like a whole new thing. Like here, like how you kind of have that piece here. You know, you can pop this up a little yeah. bit more, you know. Right, it's a little easier to do that with a little more length. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Love or it. still have kind of that fun bang. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're getting ready to get cutting here. And then today I just, I had a little change of thought here, and I think I'm actually going to hand over the torch to my friend Efren, and he is a barber. What's up, guys? It's Hawaiian G. Let's get started. This is a guard. This is a number five. So I'm just finding the end of my bolt. That way, when I taper it, I don't have to kind of just taper it into the unknown. I kind of know where it's going to end. <laughs> you have a plan, right? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, this is so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> it is, so it is, it's very exciting. Yeah. What I'm gonna do because typically when I taper it, I will start going like from the lower levels up. But since we want to leave some hair for the design, I'm just gonna bring it down to like a two, do the design, and then taper behind it. So it'll give this like 3D pop, wow. popping effect. Very cool. Nice. Okay.
right now I'm using the razor, just sharpening up the lines. Very light set. So first I go with the grain, the whole thing, mm -hmm. so going downward, and then I'll kind of go around and go again. So just to kind of sharpen up every line. So what do you put, like, do you do it just straight on their scalp or do you put like an oil? There's a shave gel. Tuning here. Uh, <laughs> Finishing touches. Yeah. And then right now y'all get to like all the mess and stuff. Uh, it has to be like completely really dry, so yeah, I'm glad you dried it out. Mm -hmm. But this style is so cool. It is awesome, so right? Fun. Yeah. How many hairstyles have you had? Oh, a lot before <laughs> Kristen and then with Kristen. How long have you been rocking the short look? Um, I started coming to her in 2008, but I had long, it was longer in the back. So I didn't do the undercut until 2019. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Does it? Yeah. And actually, mm -hmm. Well, this is not the glitter yet. This is the, this is like the defining line spray to make them sharp. So you kind of have to hit each, each corner. I don't know if you can tell how that got yeah, sharper. Yeah, right the there. difference, yep. Yeah. It gives it that depth. Mm -hmm. about ready to see our friends work for the first time. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my word, it's so cool. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's like a piece of art. Look it really video. is. Oh my goodness. That looks so cool. That looks awesome. Yeah. You really did an amazing job. Yay, thank you. Yeah. That was awesome. You did a great job. Efren's work, he's amazing. He did Thank awesome. you, Efren. This is it was so fun. So, so it was fun. fun. I kind of enjoyed sitting back and watching personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So don't be expecting this every month because, <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, Efren's like, I don't got time for this. No, I'm so <laughs> down to do this again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. It's awesome. That's so, great. I hope that you all enjoyed this. Thank you again, Efren. Thank you, yeah, Kristen, awesome so for being such a good sport. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Michael William, who yeah. is the. Uh, Mysteriously disappeared for letting <laughs> us take over his salon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, all right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.